New Jersey, Jersey Coffee is Jersey, Jersey, Jersey right Jersey. now. Words. New, New Jersey, Jersey Coffee Jug is streaming Jersey. right now. Hi, everybody. Good evening. NJ Coffee Junkie here. NJ or Coffee for short. I answer to both. And I am coming to you from the great state of New Jersey. Although I'm kind of not. I'm actually coming to you from the Joe Hills Patreon realm, as I normally do. And <clears throat> first things first, you'll notice that I am wearing some new digs. Let me back up for you and let me get out of F5 so I can show you this awesomeness right here. Look at this. This is cool. I'm even taking this out of my hand so you can see. So I'm back to F5 I go. So yeah, so Space Dorito, the, the masterful skin uh, dermatologist we have on this realm made a new skin for me to celebrate last stream where I reached a hundred followers on Twitch which is gigantic and huge and fan flipping tastic hi melons I am streaming yes um, but check out the back let me see if I can show you the back look at that 100 that was really sweet of them to do and um, I appreciate it. So I just wanted to show that off because that was something they did for me and it was really cool of them to do. And in fact, I actually have to uh, deposit some funds for them. So I'm going to take care of that because uh, I have to drop that off in their, uh, in their office um, for some other skins that um, they did for me. Um, if you remember... Uh, last stream, I was rocking a brand new apron color because normally I've been going with, you know, the dark green or the solid green. And I wanted to kind of change things up and have a little variety. And so I said, well, what about this color? And what about this color? And what about this color? And so they went ahead and they, oh, hi, Magnum. Nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Jinx. Welcome to the stream. Um, Jinx. Um, yeah, so so they hooked me up with this, but they hooked me up with um, two or three new skins uh, to, um, to illustrate the different colors uh, for, the, um, for the aprons I asked for. And so I owe them, I owe them five diamonds. So I'm going to take those out of my ender chest. I'm going to head back to the back of the mall. Hey, Space. Welcome to the stream. I'm streaming later than normal tonight because we had a surprise visitor. Um, my brother-in-law stopped by to say hi. He lives nearby, which is awesome because we can go and hang out um, with him whenever we can. Uh, he's cool peeps. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to put... Later, Pro. Alright, so... Ooh, that's neat. Okay, so that's for you. And I know you're watching, so there you go. I have I have paid you for the awesome new uh, apron skins that, uh, that you left for me, which is awesome! Can you tell I haven't had caffeine since this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Shame on me. All right, why am I frozen? Okay, you're welcome, Space. You're welcome. Um, so it's Tuesday, and I know it's been a hot minute and a half since I've seen you all last. Um, I planned on streaming over the weekend and just got... Oh, I need to restock this. I should probably get on that. Maybe we'll do that in a little while. Alright, so looks like I need some plain glass. Looks like I need some white glass. Oh, I'm completely out of black. Oh dear, okay. I'll have to get on that. Looks like light blue took some. Now, I've been a really... Um, I don't want to say neglectful... But I've been very busy. Um, as you all know, I volunteer in my spare time, and the semester's underway, and 
I have had my hands full and I've been under the weather and I've been sick. Um, and so I haven't had nearly as much time as I would like to be able to get supplies and restock my shops and stuff. As you can see, I am all out. Um, I do feel like hiring a Dorito. I also asked melons um, because I need a crap ton of sand because I not only need it for this shop, I need it uh, to help make some concrete because I'm going to buy Mal out in pretty much now. Um, on top of what I was able to craft from my own adventures not too long ago. Uh, Janik says, time to slaughter some squid. We actually have a squid farm and we also have someone who sp sells squid ink, so I don't necessarily have to go deep diving into the ocean to go find squid to go murder them in the face. Uh, somebody already does that as it is, and so I'm going to take advantage of, of their efforts and pay them handsomely for their efforts. Uh, let's see, let's check the lava shop while we're here. Eh, nobody needs lava, that's fine. Uh, looks like we're running low on fire resist. I'll have to make sure to restock that when I restock my potions. Oh, and dig this, peeps. Slacker's back! Slacker, who has been off of our realm for a really long time, uh, finally got their stuff together and got a new machine and came back on the server today for the first time in what feels like forever. And I'm so thrilled that they're back. Um, he's been back now for a day. And um, I've already told him that he can have all the extra stock that I, I had bought and made. Because I, I cleaned his shop out when I was doing the Persephone build. And I said, yeah, so I cleaned you out. <laughs> so I need to, um, I have all this extra stock that I'm not using now. I would love to be able to sell it back to you so that you can, you know, restock your shop. And he was all for it. Which way? Am, oh, I'm going this way. Um, he was all for it, so I need to meet up with him at some point. Oh yeah, I'm a top customer. I made Emily filthy rich from my Persephone and Hades build, because all I did was use Prismarine and Dark Prismarine and Prismarine blocks, and that ain't cheap. I spent a pretty penny, and I don't regret a single instance of it. Um, so what you're seeing here right now is I have some... Uh, concrete powder that, uh, hey, I hear you behind me. Um, I'm trying to um, get more concrete for the saucer build. And I crafted some powder, but in order to have it be concrete, you have to, you know, moisten it. So this is our concrete maker. And so I'm going very slowly. I know that I have 56 or so. Yeah, I'm going very slowly because if you go too fast using this, um, you lose concrete block bricks. You use the blocks or lose the blocks. So I take my time with it. I go nice and slowly so that I don't have to worry about losing any along the way. Um, but I think we're going to make short work of this. By the way, I just want to say a quick hello and a thank you to Magnum underscore Indy, Trillabytes, and Miyakota11 for the follows um, who popped in and uh, clicked that button for me and for the channel um, in between streams, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, probably, but I'm tired space. I could probably have said that better. But yeah, you have to basically mix the concrete with water to, to get it to, to harden into um, the blocks that you need. Um, because the powder itself has a, a different texture and a pretty great texture. And part of me is wondering, and I should have saved one so I could see it, but part of me is wondering if, um, if concrete powder might be a better way or better texture for the actual cappuccino mug as opposed to the solid white of the concrete, uh, the regular concrete. Uh, so let's take a field trip up to um, the nether hub and the nether hub roof and we're going to um, check out um, the build so far. Um, now I realized 
that in... Oh, wow. Okay, that was some weird lag. Fantastic. That means rockets are going to be seven shades of useless, I guess. We'll find out. Don't mind the gassed cries. They're not here. Yeah, it, the lag's a little ridiculous tonight, Nix. It really is. Where are my rockets? Did I put... Oh, I put them away. Dang it. I put them away. Alright, I'm gonna have to just take the stairs. That's fine. Um, Sixty and I think Vin or somebody, or maybe Angelo, um, designed this whole beautiful space down here. Um, cause this was all, um, this was all blown up. You okay, space? Was this also your doing? Um, they collectively, um, took advantage mm -hmm. of our nether hub roof being blown to smithereens by our demiurge, Joe. I think it was the night he demised on Hermitcraft. And, um, he basically blew this whole thing s literally sky high and so he said to us this is free real estate and I knew that he blew a hole up there before anybody else did because I saw the sign but I'm not gonna lie I couldn't figure out how to get up here because <laughs> he had covered it with green he had like, covered it with lime lime green panes and I couldn't figure out to just break the pane and just go up. <laughs> I thought there was like a hole or something that I could fly through, but no, I had to, we had to break the panes. So, Kojiro, my hero. Ah, welcome to the stream and thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Oh my gosh, how are you? Welcome, hi. Kojiro the hero, everybody. Did you, um, Kojiro, did you, um, did you try Skyblock yet? Uh, Impulse and Skizz's Skyblock yet? I, I went, we, Manatee and I, um, we went in there, um, yesterday, and I posted a picture of us standing with Dinnerbone, the, the giant upside down, um, the giant upside down zombie, and not gonna lie, and if either of them were ever, if either of them are watching this, I, which I, doubt highly but um so yeah we died twice and lost the elytras and so we're just like nope reset <laughs> and now we just we kind of put a cheaty and we um we have keep inventory on and yeah oops so we haven't explored it yet because um because i'm not good with elytras yet um I fell a lot. I fell really hard. <laughs> I hit my head. <laughs> I got overzealous. Um, Manatee was trying to do the elytra course and face planted, and he couldn't. Retru he couldn't figure out which. He couldn't figure out which. Um, which ring or which thing he died on. And so by the time we were able to figure it out, everything despawned. For me, I th I don't remember exactly. I think I found lava or fell in the void or something. I'm not exactly sure. It was just, it was ugly. It was a mess. It was a mess. It was a sad mess. <laughs> it was a sad mess. Um, yes, Skiz is better with an elytra than I am, and you can go ahead and tell him I said that. <laughs> if he watches, uh, well, I haven't... I don't know if we're allowed to stream or anything. Oh, the Rose of Marvel. Thank you. Um, thank you for um, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And welcome to the stream. Um, welcome to uh, my little channel here. Um, so, hi Space. This is Space, everybody. Our master dermatologist on the server who made this amazing skin. Which, Kajira, let me show you. Let me show you this skin that they made for me. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't that cool? It's a coffee cup. And then when you look on the back, let me see if I can do it from here. I can't do it from here. Hold on. Let me, let me show you. So, um, let me show you the back. 
See, look at the back. It says 100 on it. Isn't that cool? I love it. It's it, it's my new favorite skin, but every skin they make for me is my new favorite skin, and I keep telling them that all the time. So let me put my armor back on, because you, you don't want to wander around without your armor. That would be bad. Um, yeah, oh, thanks. Thanks, Nukes. Thanks. Um, so... Oh and, oh, and you clipped it, Kojiro. You clipped it. You clipped it just so he could see it. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. By the way, everyone, um, if you are watching on the YouTube replay, thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome. And um, for those of you who need um, closed captioning, there's a little CC on the right-hand side of the screen. You can click on that and you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to follow along. Um, if you need that, so that's ju that's available for you. Um, so here we are. We are at. Um, I should get out at five so I can see what I'm doing. We are at the giant saucer. Um, this is my newest, latest build, and I wanted to do something that was large and mildly obnoxious. And it wasn't intended to be obnoxious at first, I'll, I'm not gonna lie. I just wanted to do something that was over the top, because all of my builds- Nope, nope! Oh. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> uh, oops. Okay, so, take two. It's fine. We're doing it live, it's fine totally fine. Okay. So it wasn't meant to be obnoxious, but we were told it's free real estate. And the majority of the builds that I have done on this particular realm have not been that large. Um, I have, the widest I think I have built is um, nine blocks across. And, yeah, ma wait, mention what? Mention what in the Discord space? Okay, while I wait for them to respond. Um, yeah, s oh, check chat. Oh, let's see. Hold on. Okay, so oh, there's a there's a whole um there's a whole mess of text that I'm missing here. Space wrote NJ. I put some pumpkins in your pumpkin spice box. Thank you, Dorito. I appreciate that. Um, and and they are sending me a heart, which is awesome. Um, does this giant green R have to be here? Um, I'm not sure. Um, that was in the back, and I've just left it alone. Uh, let's see. What the R could be compact. Oh, okay. I don't know. All right. Oh, okay. You are talking about the pumpkin spice, and you're talking about the R that's back there. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, so the, the largest thing I've built is nine wide. And when I started putting the saucer together, which, as you can see, is um, for some reason not remotely centered, which is blarg, um, the circle isn't centered. I wanted the circle to be 32 wide. I because um this is going to be a potion shop like all like some of the other places that I have because everyone said oh you should build another potion shop up here. You should build a potion shop. You should you should build a potion shop. And so I said sure, I'll build a potion shop. Cuz I call potions coffee. And I wanted to be able to have space to put tables and chairs and all this other stuff so I thought 32 would be wide enough for the you know nine or ten different potions I sell and I could I could play with it a little bit and I could make it fun and and whatever because the mug's gonna be big so I took a literal saucer that I have in my kitchen and it's the only saucer that I have I might add I got it years and years ago as uh, as a, th um, a thank you gift for a convention that I attended and I measured the saucer out, and the saucer was six and a half inches across. And I said, okay, well, if the saucer is six and a half inches across, 
what's the middle circle? The, the, the dip in the middle that you see that you see here. And I measured that at two inches. And I said, okay, well, if it's two inches, that means that it's two and a quarter inches on either side of it and all the way around. Mind you, math is not my strong suit, but... How did a chicken get stuck in the kelp farm? Because? I don't know. Um, but in any event. So, I know that if I want the middle to be 32 blocks across, or around, or whatever, that each side had to be equivalent to that so that the so, so that the saucer would be equal right and so that's basically where my thought process was because if i make it any smaller the circle is going to be too big and it's not going to look like a traditional saucer but at the same time holy biscuits i've gone through a lot of concrete <laughs> and i picked white concrete in particular because i wanted to just a little bit because it's really loud in my ear. Give me one second and if there we go. And by the way, if you can't hear me or if the music's drowning me out, speak up and let me know so that way I can adjust it accordingly on the fly. Um, and, and I appreciate that. Nope, 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 no, nope, no. Nope. This is why we can't have nice things. But in any event, so according to my math, the saucer has to be this wide in order for it to make sense. Yes, please. Feel free to laugh at my expense. I do it all the time. It's fine. And that's how we ended up with this beautiful monstrosity. Now, the thing is, once this is all filled in, I'm going to have to go back and look at the center and reposition the center somehow so that... Um, so that it it works because right now it's not centered and every saucer you see the the darn center is centered <laughs> but i just want to get all of these blocks put in and i um off camera i've gone ahead and i started mining for sand and other materials um to try to um get this all squared away um, at least, or at least, at the very least, make a dent. The volume is a bit low, but you can still hear me. Well, I have the mic turned up as far as I can without it peaking. Um, can you all hear me? Am I sounding okay? Just let me know in the chat. Oh, and also, uh, there are a couple of, um, I have channel points, they're called coffee beans. So, for 100 points, you can highlight a message, not wearing earphones. Oh, that could be, that could be, that could be, Nick's, that could be. Um, so, for 100 coffee points, you can highlight a message, and I'll be able to see it a little more easily. And for, I think, 1,000 points, you can ask me a coffee-related question. Um, because I do have experience um, in coffee. Um, I worked for a coffee shop for like four years. I was there for a while and I picked up a lot of different tidbits on the way. Uh, so Space Dorito went ahead and redeemed a thousand coffee points, uh, uh, coffee beans. Thank you Space for that. And they ask, they're asking what is my favorite Starbucks drink? Um, and that's evolved over the years, I'll be quite frank. Um, when I was working there, um, my favorite at the time, especially towards the end of my tenure, was, um, it was a, an iced venti four shot caramel, skinny caramel macchiato. And I will tell you right now that those four shots didn't do a thing. Thing. I couldn't even keep my eyes open. That's how high my caffeine tolerance was back then. Now, my caffeine tolerance has significantly waned for various reasons. And when I'm there, I will usually gravitate towards a 
half calf or two thirds calf skinny mocha, or if I feel like a caramel macchiato, I'll get one, or um, most times I will get a decaf Americano with sugar free vanilla syrup. That seems to be my a favorite of mine at this point. And I don't know why I grabbed carpet, I'm still using buttons. I think that's all that row? Yeah, that's all that row. Melons asks, how do you even get a coffee tolerance that high? Well, quite frankly, when you work in any place that has caffeine, and you're surrounded by it. You're surrounded by the, the coffee beans, you're handling the coffee beans, you're handling packages of coffee, you're making drinks, you're doing all this stuff. It gets into your skin. It's, it, 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 it's absorbed through your pores. And I'm seriously not kidding with that. Um, I would leave a shift and go to class yeah, more or less. I would leave a shift and go to class, and my friends would see me, and they would ask me, they're like, yeah, did you work today? Even if I had changed, I'm like, yeah, I worked today, why? And they would grab my wrist, and they would sniff my wrist, and they would tell me point blank, hey, yo, um, go take a shower, you smell like a cappuccino. I want coffee now because of you. <laughs> So I would, you know, I would oblige as soon as I could, because um, usually I would work a shift till like 9.30, like I would work the morning shift, I'd work till 9.30. Um, go ahead, Em, I'm in the, I'm in the nether. Um, I would, yeah, so I would work a shift till like 9.30, and then I would, you know, go to class, maybe take a nap somewhere in between, it all depended. Alright, so I'm gonna leave the, um, I'm gonna leave that there. I don't mind if the scaffolding is underneath it, it actually makes it a little easier. So there's that. Ah, oh, thanks for the follow, Kajiro. I appreciate you. We call you a hero for many reasons. I can't even tell you how long I've been working on this uh, saucer, by the way. It has to have been a couple of weeks now. Um, I finished the Persephone Hades build a while back, and if you guys want to see it, if you haven't seen it yet, I'd be happy to show it to you. It's not that far away from here. Um, so I finished that up, and now I'm doing this. And the Persephone Hades build was actually the... Um, Oh, Kajiro, you sweetheart, gifting a sub to Melons. Oh, you're a doll. Oh, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. That's lovely. I really do appreciate it. I'm like a little gobsmacked right now. It's not going to lie. And I'm also very dangerously running out of concrete. Oh, dear. Oh, Mal. <laughs> Mal, I'm going to empty your shop out now. <laughs> Mal has a concrete shop here, and I'm going to just clean her out. Just clean her out outright at this point, because I'm running really low. Yes, space. It is kind of your thing, and it's appreciated more than you'll know. More than you'll ever know. Um, okay. Alright, so, because everybody moves. Um, did you happen to, en or did you or anyone here, did you happen to watch the new Solo Skiz episode that premiered today? Because, not gonna lie, I was grinning from ear to ear the entire time, and I'm just going, oh my gosh. I was thrilled. I'm I'm so excited, and I can't wait to see- he is hilarious! I can't wait to see what he does over the course of his tenure on that world. Because I'm just going, oh my god. Oh. Yes, your face was in the end credits, which reminds me, I need to send him this old- this older picture of Manatee and I. Um, our, um, so I have, um, 
so I have two Twitter accounts. I have a personal one and I have I have this one. And on the other one, I actually have us wearing the naked and scared shirts and I need to actually send him that picture because I think he wanted people to send him pictures and stuff of us wearing or having or holding or whatever all the merch so I need to go do that and I need to get a sweatshirt too I need to get a naked and scared sweatshirt at some point uh, so it looks like I'm out of concrete I'm just going to double check the chests here for that Yeah, I don't know why he didn't take the diamond horse armor. I really don't. But I don't want to say too much else because I don't want to give spoilers. Um, so, yeah. That is a hole in the bedrock. So you came in just a hot minute ago. Um, you have a couple of stacks of concrete. I will buy them from you um, if necessary because I need a lot more than that. I need... I'm going to need at least 10 stacks. At least. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, I'm going to need, like, two. I might have bitten off a lot more than I can chew here because I still have this entire area to go to. I'm probably going to need about 30 stacks. Yikers. Hi, Space. Thank you. Coming to the rescue. Um, but yeah, Kajiro, that is a hole in the bedrock. Um, so this is actually the ceiling of our nether hub. And, and I want to show you Space's shop too because it's right here. So... Um, if you don't mind, Space, um, actually, wait, hold on, let me give you this. Nope, 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 nope. Give me that. Where are you, Space? Oh, there you are. Okay, come here. Here, let me give this to you. Take this so that I can make sure to pay for it right away. And then, if whatever's left over, just bring it back, it's fine. And... Thank you. Um, so let me show you what's going on over here, Kajiro, since you asked. And for those of you who just popped in, um, my name is NJ Coffee Junkie. I'm NJ for short. Some people call me coffee, some keep people call me coffee junkie. Uh, I'm known on this server as NJ. And this is literally a hole in the nether hub. Our nether hub is downstairs. And when Joe Hills, who runs this realm, demised, he decided to um, have a little fun and completely blew a hole in our nether hub roof and said it was free real estate. And I noticed that he put the sign that said it's free real estate, right? And <laughs> all hail Demiurge Joe, yeah. <laughs> um, so he, in turn, just blew this all asunder and basically told us, build stuff up here, do what you want, you know, whatever. And that was fantastic. We're like, yeah, sure, that works why not <laughs> so we took it upon ourselves to start building up here and so a couple of us um hold on because i don't have rockets on me so i have to hold on what am i doing um i don't have rockets on me and i don't want to climb up the stairs again so in any event yeah so they designed that hole underneath and they put stairs in to get up here because at first it was all scaffolding and that was fine um but yeah so they, they put a staircase in here and then we started building. We have our gold farm that way past the rainbow. And then this is Space's merch shop. And if you are a fan of Joe Hills or have watched any of his streams or anything like that, you know that there are a couple of things. Like, for example, um, Sean Hill sings Joe Hills sheet music. So Sean is Joe's brother and the the 
the jingle that you heard at the beginning of the stream, that was Sean and Joe. Um, that was a that was a gift for for us from them. He, they did one for every single person who streams, and so so there's all different songs here that they that they per wrote and performed, like Cogs or Lines or Lines is um, Lines is my favorite song of theirs. Uh, my Destiny's in Tes Tennessee. Uh, send me a wave via subspace. Hey, Slacker, speaking of which. Um, and then, see, Joe Hill's merch store. It's free real estate. So then there's the make your own horclux, because when he was hiding from Cub during Demise, he, ha he made a horclux. Um, and so you can have your very own horclux kit. That says Joe Hill says. That's what it says on the name tags, Joe Hill says. Um, and then the I'm Sassy 2 sweatpants. That's more of an in-joke for us, but it's still freaking hilarious. Um, and then very legit sign photos, which are coming soon. There's the green screen tank tops and crop tops. Green screen tank tops, because he always wears a green screen tank top on his streams. And then the chains that he wore pretty much all through the Christmas season. I mean, he was committed and is still committed to it. And it's flipping hilarious. Um, so, so there you go. That's Space's store. And I th there's a spaceship coming over that way. And then there's another thing going this way. And so. You're all um, googly-eyed there with all the effects and stuff. Okay. Look at all the concrete, yay! Here, you take that. Oh, that reminds me. Slacker! I have things for you. Come upstairs. Fart bubbles, yeah. <laughs> Too much soda, let me tell you. Too much soda. Speaking of which, I have some here. I'm just going to have a quick sip. Okay, that works. Skiz drinks iced tea. I drink soda because I didn't grab a water bottle before the stream. So, yeah. So, basically, oh, wow. Space gave me a lot of concrete. That's good. So, she must, so I, I gave him, I gave them 11 diamonds gave them two so okay so there's nine stacks here we can do something with nine stacks of concrete and change nine stacks and change that's fine we'll make it we'll make it work um so yeah so by the way with all of you here how is your night going how is your week so far uh tea is not disgusting it's 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 not for everybody um i think hot tea is better than iced tea always. Uh, I love hot tea, um, especially when I'm not feeling well. Like, hot tea and ginger ale is fantastic. It's the you-know-what. Um, but I do like iced tea um, sometimes in the summer. Um, if I can't have hot coffee, like, if it's really, really hot, or if I'm not feeling well. Like, you'll always know when I'm in trouble. Like, if I'm um, physically a mess because I won't be able to tolerate coffee. And that does happen. And usually um, I keep tea in the house because I need some sort of caffeine and usually the mornings are just too early for me to be able to tolerate soda. So I'll grab tea. And there's a particular tea that I keep on hand um, that actually I can't drink anymore, come to think of it, because of my tolerance waning. Um, that is a super caffeinated tea. And that I keep primarily to fight migraines, because I used to get migraines pretty frequently. Okay, new stack of buttons. We'll use, we'll use all the buttons we have on us, doesn't matter if it's spruce or not. 
Kujira says that they are relaxing before work in two hours. Oh, you saint. You are fabulous. And, um, Space says that they like room temperature drinks that they forgot about. Oh, yeah, Slack. That's right, Slacker. You're, s like, six hours ahead of me, so it's... Wait a minute. It's four in the morning for you? Seriously? And you're here? Am I am I understanding that right? I don't think they're watching the stream. I should probably ask him. So wait. It's 4 a.m. where you are? Because I can do math, I swear. I can. <laughs> I can do math. <laughs> Oh, okay, hold on. And 4.30 a.m. And he's with us right now. That is commitment. And also, not ideal. <laughs> Unless he's a night owl like us. I mean, it's 10.30 here. I'm on East Coast time, of course, so. The night is young yet. It's fine. The night is young. That is true, Melons. I can do math. I joke about it because that's like a joke. That's like an inside joke. Well, not an inside joke, really, but it's just a kind of silly thing that Manatee and I have where, you know, he does all the math and I do all the reading. And that's how we balance each other out. It sounds really cheesy and silly, but that's just us. Kajira says, it's 8.30 here. I work graveyard shift. Yeah, I remember I remember you saying that you were that you worked overnights. And, bl ah, bless, I haven't had to do any of that since I was a radio disc jockey in college, and um, those are not easy to do. And if I remember right, you work in a, like, you work for a hospital or something? Like in the medical field of some sort? I could be wrong. Forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Slacker says, I hope Melons doesn't expect me to be serious. I hope he does. It'll be hilarious. Because I'm silly. It's fine. I can be a little silly. Oh, so... In any event, before I forget, um, the stream was a little delayed... To this evening, not just because um, of my brother-in-law stopping by, which was a nice surprise, but also because the, oh, you're a security contractor. Oh, for some reason I thought you were in medicine. My bad. Um, but yeah, so um, the, the, the stream was delayed because I got really swept up in checking out um, the, the Hermitcraft download. Um, I haven't downloaded it yet, but another um, another server that I play on, Fallycraft, um, they they up they upload they they figure out how to upload it and put it on on theirs. And so the lot of us, there were like maybe six or seven of us at one point, we were all running around checking everything out. So I was able to go through the shopping district and I got to check out Scar's volcano. And um, I, I, I made it to the Ministry of Truth and the mall. And I was so excited about the mall. I will be perfectly honest. I, um, I, st I started tearing up a little bit. Oh, Kajira says that it's downloading on his computer now. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I, 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 I almost started tearing up a little bit when I got to the mall and I got to um, Impulse's Strings and Things shop. And it was so surreal to me because when Impulse made that shop, he had he went on Twitter and he asked everyone to give him um, shop suggestions for for that shop. 
and I had suggested strings and things because I like things that rhyme. And he sh he he announced it that you know this was this is what he picked, and I fell out of my chair, and I went, oh my gosh, he he liked my suggestion, he picked it, and to be able to um. Oof, the download took nine hours? Wow, okay. Yikes. Duly noted. Oof. Um, but yeah, so so for him to take the suggestion um, that I made and to be physically standing in that space was just absolutely unreal to me. Um, so I was just like, oh, this is so cool. Um... I haven't been able to find Joe's Hermitage yet. I know I'll, I'll find it soon enough. I just haven't been able to. And um, I, I found Cleo's ship. And I found Fallswell. Which was really cool. Because um, Fallswell's, um, Fallswell's a big deal. Um, and the, I, saw, I found False's um, purple domed... Um, builds, but I haven't found the hippie van, I haven't found Area 77 yet, I haven't found B-Dub and Corrales' village yet, uh, so there's a lot left to explore, and so I'm really excited about finding all that stuff, um, and I was kind of cheesy, and hey, hey slacker! Give me one second. Let me um let me finish this row and put buttons down so we don't have spawns. Cause I don't need pigmen giving me the business while I'm up here. It's nice to see you. I should actually talk to him. Yeah, I, we're definitely going to have to, like, continuously check our vibes and stuff, space. We really are. It's going to be bonkers. Oh, thank you, Melons. I appreciate it. Alright, so in... Okay. So, bottom right of this chest... Or bottom row. Row. And entire small chest are up for grabs. So, for those of you who don't know, um, Slacker runs our nether shop. And this is the second or third time he's been able to come on the server since his computer broke. And so, while he was away... I basically, I basically bought him out of everything that I needed for my previous build, my last build, and I ended up with an over, I ended up with more than I needed, and so I offered to give, sell whatever he wants to do back to him so that he could restock his shop. And so that's basically what I'm pointing out. Oh dear. So that's what I'm basically pointing out to him. So I'm just going to, like, scoop all this up. He didn't have to give me all this, but that's fine. I'll take it. Because I just spent a whole bunch over at Mal's. So I'm going to put that away. Perfect. That's perfect. totally works. I'm totally okay with that. That's, that works. Uh, let's see. Don't worry, I'll be back soon enough, slacker. <laughs> oh. Welcome back, slacker. 
You've been missed. We had a little party in the Discord, in Joe's Discord, when he announced that he was able to finally come back. Because he, he really has been missed. Because he was working on, um, he was working on expanding our mall, and he had all this other stuff, and just, then his computer went, and, like, blue screened or whatever, and it was a mess, and, yeah, so, having him back is just awesome. Oh, what's, oh, raw cod, I'll take it. I don't know where it came from, but I'll take it, that's fine. I gotta go feed my kitty in the mall anyway. I have a kitty named Tiger that lives in my coffee shop. It chases any creepers away. Even though we haven't seen any since we relit my shop. <laughs> Everyone's like, where are all the creepers in the mall coming from? Oh, they're coming from NJ's. I swear I lit everything. And I'm being pranked. Yay! Somebody found invisibility potion. I mean, this is fine. Give me all the freaking, um, give me all the raw cod you want. I'm just going to feed the cat with it. <laughs> oh, goodness. If you're new to my streams, one of the overarching things that always happens while I'm here is that I get pranked somehow. Whether it's giant letters or it's, um vines on the wall or it's raining fish it's literally raining fish I don't know how to feel about that <laughs> oh goodness Kajiro says that his download is decompressing so he can check it out a little before work that's cool I really hope you can um, one of the things that I said I want to do the next chance I get to get on there is to head over to the mini games district on season six and find um, and find Joe's roller toaster. And I say that because um, when Joe was constructing it, I had my dad over one night, and everyone knows my dad. Um, everyone in the chat knows my dad. Um, and um, he was watching this the construction of this roller coaster and it being used for the first time and he thought it was a really amazing build he goes your friend did that and i said yeah yeah dad he, he we're watching him right now because he was streaming at the time and i said yeah we're watching we're watching this person we know you know we're watching him build it and he's like that's so cool that's really neat he's doing that with this and this and this and you know whatever and so one of the things that I'm itching to do is to like get the download on my laptop which I don't know if my machine can handle it but I'm gonna try um, I could do it through through Valleycraft but like bring my laptop over to where he is he's he's with my brother right now and, um, and break it out for him and basically say hey dad do you want to play do you want to ride the roller coaster? Because I was telling him about this um, a while ago. Like, the, no, not a while ago. This was the other day. I was telling him the other day when the download was was about to be released. And I said, you know, you we can ride it. We can ride the roller coaster that you that you watched you, that you watched Joe build. And he said, really? We could do that? And I said, yeah, we could do that. <laughs> And Space says he, that they want to try Run, and I I do too. But I almost want to pull up um, Coralis' video with the music and, and, and try to play it with the music like he did. Because <laughs> I think that would be hilarious. I mean, we can't help but look into his eyes, nothing but his eyes. So and I watched I watched his last episode and with him saying, Oh, you know, I only have five minutes or whatever before the before the server um okay. Cool. What's happening, man? Oh dear. <laughs> What 
am I doing here now? I have to be careful about how I place this because I have a space. I'm not going to let that rock hard, by the way. I have a space um, for the blocks underneath. And that's because if you see here, I'm going to crouch down so you can see. See here how this lower end is ground level, sort of, but the rest of it isn't? Um, that's because with traditional saucer plates, um, that's how they sit. They sit with that lower end, and that's where the cup sits. And then the plate around it kind of protects, you know, from spills and stuff, but it's, it's elevated. Um, and so that's basically what I'm aiming for, is, is getting that raised look. And that's why, um, nope, shoot, which means if I break that, okay, so that's going to be problematic for about a split second here. There we go, okay. Bye, space. I see you in the chat still. Um, can you trigger some of the commands for me? Because I realize we haven't done that yet. We've been going for almost an hour and we haven't done that yet. So can you tell everybody how to, how to reach me and how to find me and where they want to go if uh, they want to hang out after the streams and stuff? Thank you. Perfect. Thanks. Slacker! Welcome to my stream. I realize that you've been gone um, for so long that I don't think you've ever been here before. Um, I don't. I think this is the first time you've been in one. Of, have you been in one of the streams? I don't remember. I could swear you haven't, because I would remember. But welcome anyway. Very happy to have you. We're keeping each other company on multiple platforms. It's great. Oh, sugar. Okay, hold on. You think you've been in one, but not sure? That's okay. I'm glad you're here. You're keeping me company as I finish the next... This Oh, this quadrant's almost done. Neat. Alright, so we're getting there. We're getting there. I th think... We might come close, actually, to finishing this chunk. Now, mind you, we still have this big Mamma Jamma over here and that big Mamma Jamma over there, so we're far from done yet. And I guarantee you that at some point I'm going to look at this and go, maybe I should shrink this by a few. <laughs> maybe I should. But I haven't, um, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. And it really is going to boil down to supplies. Because if I can't really get my hands on the amount of supplies that I need, then curtailing this might be optimal. Um, and, and culling this down a little bit and shrinking it by about maybe a quarter to a third but it's something that I haven't decided on doing yet because like I said a lot of my builds are smaller um, basically about a chunk if not a little less and my server mates have these amazing large just outstanding builds both both here and um both here and on the other servers where I play. Um, they're more, I guess, experienced, they're more well-versed, they're more creative, and, and I will sing their praises until my throat is sore, because that's how much I respect their builds and I love their builds. Um, and so, you know, here's me with these small little teeny weeny builds, and small teeny weeny builds are great, they're fine. But I wanted to do something that I thought would challenge myself, that I thought would um, kind of be silly and over the top and um, borderline obnoxious, but not intending to be, <laughs> I guess is a good way to put it. 
Uh, Slacker's asking what the most critical supply is at the moment, and to be perfectly honest, it's white concrete. White concrete is my hot commodity right now. I've already cleaned out the, um, thanks to space, I've already cleaned out the concrete shop. Um, I got nine stacks from the concrete shop. And that should be just enough to finish this chunk. So I know I should have done a little bit more math in terms of how many blocks that actually is. So I could do the math on how much concrete I would need. And that's why I'm kind of at this place where, okay, would it be out of line to... Um, shrink this down like go back to it and shrink it down um <laughs> you can totally concrete grind then i mean mal's out she sold out um so if you wanted to um if you want to give me a hand with that there are diamonds in it for you um i know space offered to grind for sand because i do have some gravel here and i have a little bit of sand but not enough to make gravel not not enough to make concrete and I need the small amount of sand that I do have and I have to actually go grind more I need um, I actually asked melons for a double chest full of sand and that's not for this I need that for my glass shop because I'm out of a lot of my glass and I know that I don't have the um, I know that I don't have the time to go grinding um, this week. I definitely don't have the time this week. Um, the volunteering work that I do has me all over the place. I might, I have a call tomorrow night. I might be, ah, oh, shoot. Well, you know what, well, you know what, we're, we're making some buttons, that's fine. Um, I have a call tomorrow with some volunteers because I run I oversee one of our national programs, so I have to get the ball rolling on some planning with that because we're launching over the summer. And then Thursday, I might have a ceremony. I haven't, we haven't decided if we're going to go yet or not for that. And then Friday, we're going to a, a, a fun event, like um, we call them fellowships, uh, with the local students in the area. Um, we hadn't, we have not um, decided on that. We were going to talk about it and never did because I got busy at work. Um, but I will pay what is fair. Yeah, work was a little bit crazy today. I was in meetings for most of the day. just happened that way. Okay. So I should probably go get more buttons. So I'm going to just take a quick, quick trip over here to go get them. But yeah, so we're, I'm basically busy every day until like next Wednesday. There's something going on pretty much every flipping day. And that's not a complaint in the slightest that's it's it's just what happens you know that that's just how it goes and um that that's just the nature of 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 what of what we do um for our organization and so i know that i'm not gonna have a lot of free time so i'm making the most of it tonight by trying to get this at least this little section done and um what you call it, um, and then being able to check out Hermitcraft for a little while, um, knowing that I'm not going to have the time really to to hang out there or look at look over stuff or whatever um, for a, a while. Um, I normally do try to stream on Thursdays or Fridays, and I know Friday is definitely out because I will be I will be at an event for most of the night. Um, 
Thursday might be out depending on what we do. Um, so what I'm going to try to do instead, because even Sunday is going to be rough, um, what I'm going to try and do instead is if I can, if I don't stream Thursday night, I'm definitely going to try to stream early Saturday after, why did I do that? Um, early Saturday afternoon, like around, uh, I want to say noon, like 11 or 11 or noon um, for about an hour or two because we have an event in the afternoon too. So it's it's one thing after another. And and honestly, that's just this time of year for us. We have conferences and we have um, meetings and, and special events and stuff like that because it's the spring. And so we're, oh, I should break that, hold on. So, <laughs> so we're constantly, um, we're constantly just visiting places and doing things and keeping active and all that wonderful fun stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to go get all that scaffolding that just fell. Because I think it fell over here. Did it? Yeah, it's over here. There we go. Perfect. Alright. So yeah, I'm going to keep just moving on down here and keep on going. attempt to try to focus as I realized I didn't bring enough buttons again for Pete's sake. That should that should give me plenty. But yeah, so if you were looking in the chat before, I asked Dorito um, to post a couple of links for me. Um, because I have a Discord and I post all of my stream replays on YouTube and um, I'm on Twitter and, you know, stuff like that. The Discord is open to everybody and the more the merrier, I say. Um, we talk about all different kinds of stuff, mostly Minecraft. Um, we share um, each other's uh, information in terms of when we stream because a bunch of us are streamers too. It's not just me, and I'm always the kind of person who, um, when when other people are doing this too, especially because I'm so new at it, I've only been doing this for, actually, come to think of it, today's Tuesday, Thursday, it'll be, November the 17th, it'll be four months. I will have been a streamer for four months on Thursday. How wild is that? four months. And if I do get to stream on Thursday, I'm going to think of, I'm going to try to think of something that we can do that's kind of extra special. Because we haven't been able to really celebrate a month anniversary yet. And I know that sounds cheesy, but until you get to the one year, the months are important, I think. <laughs> Space says the Discord is a party and that every now and then I hop into voice, which I do. I hop into voice every so often. Like earlier tonight I hopped into voice because I had a f I had like 20 minutes to wait for the train. Um, and they say they'll come hang out and then wind up not doing so. And that is A-OK. -okay. It happens. Like I hop in super randomly just for the heck of it. Um, because usually I'm waiting for a train or I'm just hanging out or I'm just, you know, it's quiet and I want someone to talk to and, um, I'm, I'm always happy to, to chat with everyone who's in there because, you know, you're all cool people and, you know, some, some people in the Discord are real life, um, like as in real world friends of mine and manatees and some are people that I've met through this and through Joe and or just in general and you're all really freaking cool people and the one time you hopped into voice I was there for 30 seconds yeah because the timing was all screwed up 
because I thought I had more time than I did because I was going to meet my friend and it turned out that she showed up early and so here I am thinking I had you know 20 30 minutes to wait for her and she's like nope I'm here already and I went oh awkward okay but in a good way and you know what worst came worst came to worse or worst comes worse um you had a good laugh at it because I could hear you guys laughing at me and I was okay with that because <laughs> it was just like oh derp okay <laughs> and that was fine that was totally fine um I'm hoping that I could make hanging out in the voice chat in discord a more regular thing and a way at, or at a time when the people who was the people who was oh gosh I must be tired the people who are in Europe can be able to like chat with them because they're so far ahead time wise I mean they're in bed right now or else they'd be hanging out in here too and that's also part of the reason why I um um, can you borrow a pair of wings? I only have this pair, and I need this pair, or else I would loan them to you. I'm sorry. I really can't loan you my... I can't loan you that. Um, I'm glad you thought it was lies you're not in bed, slacker. Oh, goodness. You need to sleep if you haven't slept yet. Good grief. Good grief. Good grief, son. Go to bed. Um hot kettle it's 11 p.m. here and I'm not going to bed anytime soon that's fine um, yeah also um, for those of you who were in the stream last time when I was trying not and failing not to cough up my right lung or my left lung um, as you can tell I feel a lot better um, I've been on an antibiotic again and it's doing the job Today was the sniffling and the sneezing portion of the program. Tuesday was the coughing up a lung. Um, I've been tired. Like, I'm tired now, and you can probably hear it a little bit. Um, like, I was yawning all day, because the antibiotic, it, it doesn't play. <laughs> it, it, it wrecks you something fierce, um, as, it is, as it is supposed to do. Oh, hey, steak. Nice. Rock, um, I have plenty of rock cod, so I'm going to cook some. That's fine. Warm up this nether a little bit. How you feeling? Hot, hot, hot. How you feeling? Hot, hot, hot. Watch me get demonetized. Awesome. I'm not even monetized. It's fine. Um, yeah, NJ's nether coffee shop. Free real. Free real estate. But yeah, I do feel a lot better. I, I'm trying to get more sleep and I'm going easy on the caffeine and just making sure to you know do my self-care and just really focus on taking care of myself um, because when you constantly go and go and go and go and you push yourself and you push yourself and you push yourself there's only so far you can go before your body nopes on you and when Hi. your body nopes on you it hurts like you are just wrecked and that's not necessarily a good place to be in. it's not a good mindset to be in it's not really anything and so you know you want to uh, I'm going to grab these spruce buttons. I'm also going to grab this white carpet because if I run out of buttons, I do want to start replacing the stuff with white carpet. But it's it's one of those things where you really just have to be you have to be careful. Melons says that they can confirm their body noped on them at work and they end up sleeping for 16 hours. That's rough. When I was a disc jockey for college, my last DJ tenure, my last shift, was 24 hours long. Because at that time, a local DJ had gone, I think, 48 or 72 or some nonsense. And I said, I want to try and beat it. And 
the person who was in charge of everything at the time said, no, but I can give you this instead. And I said, that works. That tracks. That's fine. Well, I didn't say that tracks, but you get the drift now. Um, I said, you know, that's that's perfectly fine. Let's Let's try that. Let's do that. And so I did. And I went 24 hours. I'm just going to take all this down because it's going to get, it's going to end up getting moved, but for now it doesn't need to be there. Um, so I went the 24 hours. I stayed up an extra few hours just to get home. Um, I was so tired that my coworkers found me because I stopped by where I was working at the time. And my coworkers found me standing up against the wall fast asleep. Because I was so tired. I was so done. And they just looked at me and they're like, yeah, you are a crispy girl. You need to go home. And they ha they called my friends. And my friends came to pick me up. And they drove me home. And I slept for 24, I think 24 full hours. And they, my mom's like, you alright? I said, I am now. Because <laughs> I was out cold. I was knocked out. And 10-10, uh, I would do it again. I would totally do it again. It was worth it. And the music director didn't think I could do it either. But when I did, at my last hour, he happened to be in the studio. And he just looked at me and he gave me that dude nod. You know the dude nod where um, where it's just kind of like that, that slight like cock of the head. Like, all right, all right. You know, that kind of thing. That, that nod of approval, if you will. Um, that's basically what I got. It's like, all right, you can hang. That's That works. And basically, yeah, so I, um, I went home and I passed out. And it was probably one of the best sleeps I'd had in a while. For a long while, actually. Although last night wasn't too bad, it just wasn't long enough. I could have slept easily for another hour or so. Although the dream that I had was weird because in it, um, I met Xavier Woods from the WWE. And this is so wild because I, I didn't even think about it all day today till just now. But it's one of those things where I was at an outdoor concert and he was on stage and he wasn't performing. He was maybe like announcing the band or something. And he sees me... And he comes racing over, and he gives me a hug. And the next thing I know, the second we hug, I wake up. And I'm just like, okay, what the hell was that? <laughs> and what did I eat before I went to bed that could give me some weird dream like that? And I'm still not sure what the heck caused it. I thought it was amusing. Space says they're going to go bleach their hair again. Well, good luck with that. I ho hope it goes well. Remember, don't get it in your eye. Night space. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Melon says night space. So we've been going for a little over an hour. Maybe about an hour twenty. That's not too bad. Well, um pictures or didn't happen space. Um I'm probably gonna go for a little while longer. I was hoping to go for about two hours or so. Dorito says that Sister Rito, their sister, bought an industrial sized tub of bleach. Oh dear, good luck with that. Again, don't get it in your eyes. Um, but yeah, so I was gonna go for about two hours or so and I'm just gonna see how I feel along the way uh, just because um, the week is the way it is and I'm so busy with everything. And I'm also running out of concrete, so I need to figure out what else I'm going to do. Because I've I've basically gone through nine stacks of white concrete and I'm not even close to being done yet. So it's one of those things of okay, looking at this almost got a batch ready because you are the man slacker thank you I appreciate it alright so you know what I'm just going to start with the white carpet 
Nope, not like that. That's not good. I should probably just look down and place it. Alright, let's see. I'll go back for that one. Hold on, wait a minute. If I use white carpet, that's gonna blend in with this, isn't it? I think we can fix that. Boop. There we go. That way we can keep this part separate so I know what to, what's going to end up needing to move. Um, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, I'll th let me check the chests. Well, actually, wait. I have, I have ten concrete blocks left. Let me place those and then I'll go look. Because I'm using carpet right now because I'm out of buttons in my hand. And I don't think I have any more stone. I think I went through it all. But I am starting to believe that maybe this should be shrunk. By about a third. And make it about maybe... 70 blocks wide as opposed to 96. And that would be okay. I mean, it would require a lot of destruction again, because this is, I think, the third time that I'm doing this. But that's fine. Yeah, see, we have all this yet to go. And all of where I just was, there to go. What's up, buddy? Looks like Slacker's back. I'm loving your skin, by the way. Your skin's trippy. Alright. I'm assuming this means you want me to look in your in your thing. Oh wow. Okay. Um Ooh. I can type, I swear. What would you like for these goodies? Because I will, I will pay. I will gladly pay. As I take it all with me. It's what do you feel like paying? Well, Okay, what do you need? Is there anything you need? In addition to diamonds? Because I will give you diamonds and stuff. You don't need anything to be honest. Okay. Well then, I will give you diamonds. Give me one second and let me... Let me empty your shulker here. Uh... Huh. Okay, so I know how much of a pain in the butt that is. I think that's fair. That's more than fair. When your server mates come to help you out, you make sure they get taken care of.
and now I can continue working on these sections for a little while longer because now I have materials to do so because I was completely out and I didn't know what else to do other than maybe give you guys a server tour which I do every so often Basically what I'm doing here is I'm just filling this all in and I know that I'm going to end up tearing some of it out to move the saucer center. Basically this circle here that you see in front of me because it's not perfectly centered on the saucer at all. I basically, because okay, so I was building from the inside out. I put this together first and then started building out. And as I did that, the first time, it started coming out where the sides were, were flattening out, it wasn't circular, and it looked more like an oval, which is fine, but it wasn't the circle that I wanted. So that all got torn up, except this, because this was perfectly shaped. So then I was still trying to figure it out and still trying to figure it out, and I think I tore it down twice. And then last week, I was having breakfast with uh, a couple of our friends. Well, we were having breakfast with a couple of our friends. And I was telling them about the conundrum that I was having. And they basically said, well, why are you working from the inside out? Why don't you work from the outside in? Just, you know, map out how big you want your circle to be and just fill it in. And it never occurred to me to do that. You would think it would, but it never occurred to me. And I felt so stupid in that split second. I went, that's brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? Like, I felt so dumb, but at the same time, it was just, okay, that works. And so that's basically um, what ended up happening. I, um, I started working from the outside in, and that's how I ended up here. But I never took down the center circle. I just, I left it where it was. And I figured, okay, well, one of two things is going to happen. Either I'm going to get really lucky, and it, the circle is going to be perfectly centered regardless, or I'm not going to be lucky, and the darn thing is going to be off by a bit, and I'll just figure it out as it goes. And so that's basically where I am right now, is that this circle is uneven. Because with this line over here and this line over here, if you look, you know, they're perfectly centered. Like there's three here and three here on this side and on that side. And that's kind of how I built the circle in the first place. But on this side and the other side, it's not. It comes over to here. And so what I might need to do is widen the, widen the circle or move it. Because it's, it's the same on both sides. If we come over here, you'll see for yourself. See how it only has the one? So I think I need to push it back two blocks. And that's kind of what you saw the purple from before. The purple was to designate how far back to move move those particular blocks. But I know that I'm gonna get disoriented, so I just ended up I I just tore them down. Okay. So back to it we go. Which way am I going here? I've got that section and I've got this section. And I think I'm going to go over this section because that's where I just was. So I've been doing a lot of thinking otherwise. And like I said, I've only been, I've been at this for about four months now. And I'm always trying to think of um, different things to try and different ways to, you know, have everybody come in and have the best time possible. 
as you watch me, you know, try to do circles and stuff, and with all the different builds that I do. Um, and so we have those channel points, we have the coffee beans, and there were, I've got a couple of things there. I have, you know, you can ask me the coffee question, you can highlight your messages. Um, we don't have emotes yet, that's something that we're working on. That's actually a goal for the end of March, is to have enough um, people subscribe to, um, to be able to use emotes. And we're getting there. And that's, you know, that's not something that um, I'm, I'm necessarily ang anxious for, but I know everyone loves emotes and I just want people to be able to use them. I have two that uh, one that um, Space Dorito made for me and one that Moselbop made for me and they're awesome and there's actually a third drawing I want made into an emote that Emily drew for me that's hilarious in a good way um, because I'm always needing to be reminded to eat sometimes like Skiz we're, we're like, like that a, a bit um, so she drew something really cool for me. It's actually pinned in my Discord if you are interested in seeing that. That's not where you need to be. You need to not be there. Alright, okay. And there's no, there's no scaffolding here. Okay. Thank goodness I had scaffolding because I didn't want to have to start breaking blocks to get out. That would have been, un that would not have been ideal. Um, but yeah, so if you all um, have any ideas about um, different ways that we could use the channel points or the coffee beans, whatever um, different things that you know you'd like to see um, while we're here together, then you know just drop a comment in uh, just drop a comment in the chat or if you're watching the replay, um, throw a suggestion in the comment section below and um, you know let me know what you think and how how can we make this an even better space. Um, I know that one of the things I've been kind of thinking about is doing Jackbox, because um, that's always fun. Trivia Monster Party 2 is hilariously good. Um, there's also a, a game called Twitch Sings that I've been looking into. Um, my friend uh, and Kaylina, she just streamed this the other night, and it was a riot. It was so funny. Um, you can actually find her here on Twitch uh, um, on as a uh, Kaylina TV. Um, so if I go here and I hit this, there we go. So that's my friend Kay. Um, you should go check her stuff out. She's great. Um, she does a lot of retro games. She does Twitch sings. She's not going to stream for a little while. She's in the process of moving. She just, her and her husband just bought a house. So that's awesome. Uh, so she'll be streaming sometime next week, I think. Uh, so definitely give her a follow and check her out and, you know, see what kind of fun stuff she does. She plays a lot of Pokemon. Um, she just finished uh, Shield, I think, or is about to finish Shield. And she played uh, Crystal and Red. And so she, she does all that. And she most recently did a stream, a couple of streams where she played through The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, which as you all know, or should know, or are about to know now, is my absolute favorite Zelda game of all time. And I mean, seriously, it's my favorite Zelda game. I could play that game a thousand times over and never get tired of it even though I haven't been able to sit down and play it for a very long time. And so she did a playthrough of it. And it was a blind playthrough, no backseat gaming. So that's fine. But you could throw questions and suggestions to her. And one of the temples that she was in, I remembered something about it where you had to, in order to defeat this one enemy, you need the hammer to basically flip them over and then you could get them that way. And so she was trying to evade these enemies, but she had the hammer. And I wasn't going to tell her, hey, this is what you do to get rid of these enemies. I, in turn, said, hey, what happens if you use the hammer? What happens if you use the hammer? Can I see what happens when you use the hammer? 
And that was my way of telling her, hey, you might want to put this weapon to good use without basically telling her exactly how it was supposed to work. That's how you properly game without being a backseat gamer. It's you ask questions and you get whoever's playing to kind of think about it, but you're not necessarily telling them what to do. You're asking them, hey, what happens if you do this? What are the consequences if you choose action A? You know what I mean? And so, so that was kind of hilarious to watch her um, figure out all these powers and abilities uh, that I had already known about. Um, and she was fantastic. She played it really, really well. Um, oh, that's right. She's currently playing Final Fantasy VII. And she loves it. Loves it, loves it, loves it. And I'm glad, because Final Fantasy VII is a really good game. But, yeah. Okay, so we're not doing half bad. We're, 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 we're going through the concrete pretty strongly here. Um, building this giant cappuccino mug saucer. I'm afraid to see what the cappuccino mug's finally going to look like because the cappuccino mug's going to be flipping huge. And I already have an idea for it. I just have to maybe sketch it out or something. Um, I have some light blue terracotta that I'm going to use as an accent, you know, like the old school, uh, old school coffee mug china with a, usually a flower pattern or something on them in light blue. That's kind of what I'm going for for this build. Something that's not necessarily screaming of grandma or anything like that, but just something that feels um, sophisticated and proper and um, cozy and friendly too. Um, how it's going to look in the end, I don't know, because I'm basically winging it at this point. But I've always been told that the best builds are the ones that um, are winged or, you know, done on the fly. Even though there are a lot of builds, a lot of great builds are done with, you know, a lot of proper planning and measurement and stuff like that. Sometimes you just want to go um, willy-nilly and um, go to town. And I see or I spy with my eye that blonde... Theft Auto, everybody, has uh, raided us. I don't know why the alarm didn't go off, but we've been raided. Blonde and her posse have come in and saying hello. Hello, Miss Space. Hello, Blonde. Hello, my dear. How are you? How are things? How is your stream? Bring in the love for when you come back. Yeah, I appreciate that so much. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody make the Raiders feel at home. Very glad to have you. Welcome to the stream. If you've never joined Blonde on a raid before, my name is NJ Coffee Junkie. And everyone here on this realm calls me NJ for short. I am a fellow uh, Joe Hills patron of Blondes. And I am building an, a mildly obnoxiously big <laughs> uh, cappuccino mug um, but first for the mug I'm building the saucer and I say obnoxiously big because I'm going to come up here and I'm going to show you it's the largest build I've ever undertaken the saucer itself is 96 blocks wide and it's 96 blocks wide because I did the math and that's what the math told but this is what we're building right here. Now, the center of the saucer is a bit off kilter and that's okay. That's going to be moved maybe next stream. Our goal right now is to fill in that space in the back that you see over there. We're getting there one stack at a time. There we go. I actually didn't take damage this time. Awesome. But welcome, welcome. Make yourselves at home. Grab a cup, uh, grab a seat very glad to have you. How is your night going? Did How was your stream, Blonde? Was it fun? Um, what game were you playing again? I forget. I, I caught a glimpse of it when you made the announcement, but I don't remember what it was. Was it um the, the Grave one? Or was it Stardew? Because I know you've been playing a lot of Stardew lately, 
and I know how much fun that game is. Janix says, nice to chill here for a bit before I gotta go. Thanks for the stream. Well, thank you. Thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate it. I love when you're able to come by. Have a really good night. I'll, we'll chat very soon. That's a promise. Wow, we've been going for an hour 40 already? Wow. Craziness. Very cool. Very, very cool. Alright, so we're almost done with this stack right here. Well, we would be if I placed them properly. That would be great. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. And for those of you, if you're wondering why the heck I would build a cappuccino mug and saucer that's so darn big, I wanted to do um, I wanted to do something big and wild and and just huge because I because um, I never really build big things and this is my challenge and this is this is just something to really push me to to think outside the box and basically break the box. Lon says. I hope your stream goes well and that you have lots of fun building your coffee mug. I must leave so I can sleep for work, but best wishes for stream. Thank you, Blonde. I really appreciate it. Thank you for bringing your community here with uh, to me. I will take very good care of them while you sleep. Um, and I'm always grateful um, when you stop by. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I hope you sleep well. I'll catch you in the morning in the Discord. Yeah, we're um we're in the same discords together too. Uh, I'm in I actually am in Blonde's Discord. I just I never get to really chat in there all that much. Um, but I will promise to poke my head in at least once or twice this week and make sure to say hi to all of you because you're a really fun community. Um, and I appreciate um and I appreciate you and Blonde coming in. In fact, I'm going to give her a shout. So yeah, you can definitely check her out there, everybody, if you're not one of her raiders. Um, please go give her a follow, because she is um, hilarious and fun. Um, just as an FYI, she's n her streams are not necessarily safe for work, but that doesn't mean that she's not entertaining. Um, she is a, a blast. And I really do hope I get to um, pop into one of her streams really, really soon. Um, it's been a while for me, um, just because of timing. But just because my timing stinks doesn't mean that um, if yours is, is on point, then go support her. That would be cool. Alright, so we still have a bunch of stacks yet. So, um... I know that my voice is starting to go, because we've been at this for a little while, but we still have all these stacks yet. So I'm going to make a deal with all of you that I'm going to finish what I have that Slacker brought me, and then we're going to we're gonna call it a night. Not yet. We've got, I've got at least another 20 minutes in the tank. I'm at least going to do that for you. But in the meantime, raiders at all, um, for those of you who are here who do play Minecraft, um, oh, thank you, Slacker. You're the best. Oh, hold on. That was weird. That was some weird lag. That was, that was, you, you guys all saw that, right? <laughs> you guys all saw that? <laughs> that was wild. Okay, sure. Um... But yeah, so um, so for those of you who you know came in and everything, um, are you familiar with Minecraft? Do you play? Um, do you play on a multiplayer server like like I do? Um, 
Are you, um, have you built anything yet? Um, what's your favorite biome? Like, all that kind of stuff. I want to know more about, more about what you think about Minecraft. Um, for me, I've been playing now since, um, I've been playing since, uh, I want to say July of 2018. Yeah, July of 2018. Haha, ha, Melon says, honestly, I've never heard of Minecraft. I don't know how I even found the stream. You're a smart Alec, you know that? <laughs> Silly. Love it. Alright, I'm gonna use purple carpet because I ran out of I didn't bring enough buttons. That's fine. I just don't want to leave all this white space. Servers, what are those? Smart ass. Love it. But in any event, um, See, they got me all confused there. Um, but yeah, so I've been only been playing since t July of 2018, when 114 came out. Um, I would have started playing sooner, but Manatee wanted me to wait so that I wouldn't have as big of a learning curve between one version and another. And that was fine. Um, I got into Minecraft through, um, through Manatee. Um, through um, watching Hermitcraft and watching um, and watching Naked and Scared, which is Impulse and Skizz's um, online show, if you will, and just being inspired by them and being able to meet some of the hermits in 2018. Um, they just really, just really were the sweetest, nicest people, and still are. And it was nice to be able to converse with them and to ask them questions about Minecraft and about Hermitcraft and everything else, and just talk to them. And that's how I ended up, um, that's how I ended up becoming a patron of Joe's. And Melons is saying, hydration check. That is actually a really good call, Melons. Thank you. Um, so I know that a bunch of you have been here since the very beginning of the stream, and for that I appreciate you. Um, I'm, we're going to take Melon's advice, and we're going to do a quick health and safety break. So if you need to get up, if you need to stretch your legs, if you need to grab a drink, um, go do that right now. I'm going to finish my soda, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to keep putting blocks down. So we're going to take, we're going to take a quick, um... We're going to take a quick break. So, like, a, s a minute, okay? Go do what you got to do. Come back. I'll be here. Okay, I finished off my soda, and I know there might be some people who are still stepped out, so I'm just going to very quietly finish this row and then figure out how to get out of here, because I don't think, yeah, this section doesn't have scaffolding in it. Oops. So I'm going to plunk some down here, and then use that to come across. There we go. For some people, the breaking of bamboo is ASMR. For me, it's the plunking of buttons. It's very soothing to hear that sound.
So by the way, do we have any coffee drinkers watching right now? And if so, what is your favorite coffee? I'm actually genuinely curious. Me, I like a good plain medium roast. Although I have to have it half cap now because reasons. And I really need to stock up on buttons. I really do. I heard that. One, two, three, four. Oh, thanks for the follow, Slacker. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Apparently it was the first time here. Okay, I thought so. Because you've been, like I said, you've been gone for a little while now. And, um, oh no, you're fine. You're totally fine and valid. That's fine. Um, no worries. Um, Melons is asking me a really good question right now. Um, Melons asked me, NJ, how does having a lot of your life be public on the internet affect you, and how do, how do you handle it? To be perfectly honest, a lot of my life is not as public as you would think it to be. Um, I do share a good chunk of, of my day-to-day, -day, I guess, when I'm streaming and stuff, and I tell stories. My stories are very old. <laughs> <laughs> um, in that they, they happened a, a long time ago. Um, there are a lot of different aspects that I do keep private or I keep to um, other social media that I don't mention here. Um, I don't mind being a streamer. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I do have separate... Um, I do have separate means with which to have online personalities. Um, so, like, I have a private Twitter. I have a, this. I have um, a, this Twitter for gaming and stuff. Oh, slacker! You're <laughs> you're barely back online after all this time, and one of the first things you do is subscribe. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You have no idea. You really don't. Thank you. That really means a lot, dude. Like, seriously. For real. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so, um, I'm lucky, Melons, in that Manatee is exceptionally well-versed in internet security and stuff like that. So a lot of my personal information is, is protected. And I do my best to make sure that anything that, um, to use a phrase that Joe always says, OPSEC, um, I really try hard to make sure that that's not compromised. Um, so like you're, I, I give generalities about certain things. Um, and there are, there are, you know, more specific things I have shared, and that's fine, um, but, yeah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really affect me all that much, um, I mean, it's not like I'm a mumbo or a green or anything like that where, um, they have to be really careful about, you know, what they do and the kind of information that they put out there, um, I don't have to worry about that as much. I, st I still think about it, and I'm still cognizant of it, but I don't have to worry about it as much. So it doesn't affect me nearly as, as deeply as it does for other people. And I try really hard to n not let stuff where um, I could, you know, have something negative happened to me. Um, I really try hard to make sure that there's nothing that could cause that, you know. So I try. And honestly, I think with how, you know, generous people have been and 
just how supportive everybody's been. Um, and I think that goes with a lot of content creators. Um, I think the best content creators out there, I know I am not putting myself in this category, I'm just saying as a generality, that the, oh, hi, Elvin, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate you, and I'm so glad you're here. I hope your stream went well. I'm sorry I missed it. I always love trying to catch your streams. Everybody, do me a favor when you have a chance. I want you to go and um, go find Elven Dragon. And, oh, okay, for some reason it didn't. Oh, I forgot the 064. Let me try that again. S-O, Elven Dragon, zero, eight. Wait, eight, not zero. Eight, six, oh, nope, I can read, I swear. 064. Boom. Elven Dragon 8064. There we go. All right, everybody. Make sure that you go and follow Elven because they're awesome. And they're my they're a Minecrafter like I am. And they're part of my Discord. And they're awesome. Okay. Doop. Oh, I still have buttons. All right, hold on. I need to use these. That would be helpful. Okay, cool. But welcome. I hope you had a good stream and I'm, you're having a good night or day or whatever time it is where you are because I can't remember what time zone you're in. Um, now, what was I talking about before I got raided? Because I'm always distracted. Just spent a bunch of time hiding lights around Spawn Town. Perfect. Um, you were on uh, Squidcraft, right? That's where you've been lately, right? If I remember right. Yep, Squid uh, Squidcraft. That's Liara's. Um, that's Liara's. Um, I think patron or like subscriber um, server. Last night was the Let's Play World, though. Oh, okay. So the stream that I popped in for um, for like the five seconds I could. You were in your Let's Play. Okay, I see. I see. Cool. All right. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Awesome. Well, thank you and welcome. Um, I hope your week's been going well. Not just your stream, but your whole week. I hope it's been going well. Um, you put buttons in the small chest? I didn't know. I only went after the big chest. So this is going to look really funky because I've been putting down carpet when I run through, run out of buttons. All right, I'll go get them, because I need more. Uh, so Elvin, um, when you popped in, we were still working on the, um, we were still working on the saucer. We finished the lower, one of the lower quadrants that needed to be done, and we're working on the up, the further back quadrants right now. And then once it's all done, I have to go back and remeasure and move the center, the circle in the center, because it's off center. And I have to figure out exactly where the center is going to be and then fix it. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't even see the small chest. So I'm just gonna grab all this while I'm at it. There we go. And I'll probably replace all that, um, well, here, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm working with, Elvin. Um, let me climb up here so you can see. So this is basically what we're working with. And as you can see, from one end to the other, the circle is fine, but it's it's too far it looks like it's too far up or it's too sm it might be too small like my math might have been off and so i need to figure out i need to figure how to work with that um because the circle i still want the circle to be 32 blocks wide and according to my math it had to be equal on either side and 
that's probably not correct and I might have to go back and fix it. In fact, I will have to go back and fix it because that looks funky. <laughs> that looks chicken level funky. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, I even had speculated earlier in the stream that I might need to actually go back, tear this all out again, shrink it down to about um, like 64 blocks maybe and go from there which would actually be a lot easier but I haven't I'm just building this anyway at 96 and going from there um, I mean if I make it 32 if it's 32 blocks around what I might have to do is increase that circle to maybe I don't know 45 um, or something like that. I need to figure out where this, what the center of this thing is and then build accordingly so that we have that lower end there with the quartz slabs. And those are bottom level quartz slabs. They might have to become top level so that I could build on top of them, but I haven't moved them yet because the whole thing's gonna move anyway. But right now it's the lower part because um, it's supposed to be that, that dip in the middle because that's where the cup sits. Because the cup always sits in the, in the dip, in the, in, the, in, the, in the middle. And then that's what holds the cup in place. And then the cup comes out. And the example that I have, the inspiration that I have in the house, this, this cappuccino mug and saucer set, the cappuccino mug, the handle is about as big as the saucer itself in terms of, of how far out it is from the mug. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of measuring that's going on with it right now. And so I'm just thinking, you know what, let me fill this circle in. I'll just fix it later because I need to see how much concrete I need. And if it's to a point where it's just going to be continuously, oh my God, I'm going to need chests and chests and chests full of concrete. Um, a revisitation is not necessarily a bad idea, as I realize it's also off, it's also off, um, it looks like it's off on the left there, but that's okay. So let's get back to it for a few more minutes, because we've been going for over two hours already, and I think because it's almost midnight, I'm going to call it at midnight, and that's no offense to any of you, I hope you don't mind, um, but I do work a day job, and I do need to get some sleep. Um, because we've had a lot of projects come in lately, and I need to make sure that I'm up early because I take mass transit to work. Nicely done, Melons. Good for you. That's a that's a that's a fun um, achievement to make. Not today, thank you. Um, but yeah, so I work a full time job, and I volunteer, and I do this, and so I have not as much time to sleep. And sleep is delicious, and I like being full of sleep because sleep is healthy, and it's good for you. Builds character. Um, so I really want to make sure, especially since I'm getting over being sick. And, oh, I need to take my antibiotic. Oops. So I'm going to go do that, too. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to call it in a couple of minutes. So I can go do those things, go to bed, and be able to make um, getting to work on time easy. Because I take public transportation, and it's not always the most reliable. I need to make sure that I'm out of the house early enough so that I don't miss the early train which I do regularly, and it's kind of getting annoying because mass transit, yeah. I mean, the only good thing about missing the train in the morning is that if I catch the later train, I get to go to Starbucks because it's on the way. So if the coffee I make at home isn't enough and I'm, my butt's really dragging, I can go grab a second cup and it'll be fine. I'm 
definitely also, you know, I'm also definitely going to make sure that I take care of myself um, during this these, these hectic weeks. Like I've said, a lot of the work that I do and a lot of the mentoring that I do and a lot of the phone calls and everything else are all after work. And that's not a complaint in the slightest. It's just, you know, it's just how it goes. And I really have to be cognizant of my not just my physical health but my mental health and I have to make sure to you know do those things that allow me to rest and recharge and everyone should be able to have the opportunity to um, take advantage of any downtime that they have and be able to use that time to do the same to rest to recharge to do something that sparks joy and makes them happy and just brings peace and I honestly hope you know with how quickly this year has pro is progressing I mean March is on Sunday for Pete's sake and you know just in thinking about it with um, with Ash Wednesday being tomorrow and Lent the Lenten season coming up I do observe Lent um, thinking about it's thinking about the holiday, the, 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 this time of year, and thinking about, because we're, we're, we're always asked to, um, to give something up, um, a, a, a vice or, or something that, you know, just to remind us of, you know, sacrifices that we made, and, you know, that's, that's all well and good. Um, a while back, someone had said, you know, it's not just about what you give up, it's about what you give out and what you give back. And that's been a mantra that I've kind of looked at, especially over the last couple of years. And it's, you know, what can I do to make a more positive impact in the world around me? Um, and that's what I do through my mentoring and my volunteering. And so um, for this season, I haven't figured out if I'm, what I'm going to give up just yet. I'm not going to give up streaming because I'm too new at new, too new at it, and um, it's it's so, it's part of my self care. Uh, it's part of so, it's part of what brings me joy. Um, so that's not happening. But thinking about what else I could do that would be a benefit or a boost to the people around me. What can I? What kind of positive energy can I put out there? And that's something that I'd like to ask all of you to think about, is what kind of things can you do to put positive energy out into the world? And it doesn't matter what it is. Um, it doesn't matter when. What can you do to help um, help make the world a little bit better. How can we be excellent to not just ourselves, but to each other? And, you know, that's something that I'm going to be thinking about um, during these next 40 days or so. And so I hope that when I do kind of figure out how I can do that, um, if you would help me with that. Because I would like to be a positive force, even more so than you th you think I am. I think that would be really neat, and it would also be neat if um, if I had more buttons. <laughs> if I had more buttons, that would be great. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, we're definitely not going to finish this section, as I feel the lag. There it is. Okay. Or this section. We're definitely not going to finish those tonight, my peeps. Um, I am really starting to feel it in my throat. I have to go get my antibiotic. And oh, thank you, Melons. I appreciate it. Uh, we can talk in a minute. Um, I'm going to head back over here. I'm going to head back this way real quick before I go. Come on. You can do it. Run. Run, run your little butt. Let's go. Up we go.
we're going to take a look at what we've done tonight. Because I think we did a heck of a lot. We were able to give Slacker some inventory. The circle's almost done. Look at it. It's so neat, isn't it? He did this. I think it looks really cool. We did this. This looks so neat. This looks amazing so far. There we are. Look at that. How neat is that? I'm going to take a screenshot. That's cool. Okay. Melon says that they have to head out. I'll message them on Discord. I'll message you in the morning. I'm going to go to bed. But in any event, um, I just want to say thanks to all of you for being here tonight. I want to thank Kajiro for the subs and Slacker for the sub and Elvin and Blonde for the raids and for all the new follows and everything else. I always, 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 always appreciate you and love you guys to pieces. Um, I love the community that we have here and you know what we all do and um, I guess you know having said that as I pop this in there real quick in the chat um, I guess whatever else I want to say is if you liked what you saw and you're watching the replay on YouTube hit subscribe would love to have you um, check out my previous streams, uh, my my bits on Fallycraft, my extravaganza on YOLO, where um, I died a glorious death. It was awesome. Um, I would love for you to um, click follow if you're watching the VOD. Thank you so much. Feel free to click follow. If you really liked what, uh, what you saw, feel free to subscribe. Um, with that, we're going to go um, raid somebody. Because we always want to raid. We always want to raid. Uh, and support our fellow streamers. And so it looks like um, my buddy, Drunk on Shadows, Josh, it looks like he's playing a game called Conan Exiles. Um, so that sounds interesting. Um, Josh is someone who is a moderator for... Um, a group called The Sweets. They're professional wrestlers. Um, Baron Corbin, Tyler Breeze, and um, Sean Spears. Um, I'm not sure if the game is um, safe for work, but feel free to pop on in and just say NJ's Coffee Raid is brewing. Tell him I sent you. Um, he's a cool cat, and I, I dig him very much. Um, but we're going to go raid him. And I just want to again say thanks so much. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a really good night. Don't forget to be excellent to yourselves and to each other. And with that, let's go raid Josh. Thanks. Have a good night. <laughs>